well, members one and all of, of the Salivation Nation. Well, as of the recording of this video, we are coming very near to Christmas. And I would venture to guess that most silver coin collectors in the silver community out here who acquire the precious metal for a hedge against the economic instability, that most of us don't own a set of silver bells. And uh, so we can still have fun during this season with our silver coins because each of these pieces ha has their own special ring to it. And yes, I could probably spend an exuberant amount of time trying to acquire just the right sizes and diameters and thicknesses of these pieces to actually arrange them in such a way that we can create a Christmas carol out of these. But we're just going to have a little fun with them instead and listen to the tone and the ringing of the silver bells using coins as our bells indeed. And we'll start off with the smallest of the pieces. Yes, that's right. This is a winged liberty, also known as the Mercury Dime. This is a 90% silver coin. And uh, we're going to have to listen very closely for this one because this is going to be very, very difficult to get a nice ring out of it. But we're going to try. So let's see here. Hopefully you could hear that, and uh, but very very high pitched. But you can barely hear the little the little tenor the tenor the very very high pitched ring as it comes up as you flip it. Next is the quarter. This one should be noticeably different sound. A little deeper tone there. We try to tap on these with the pen it just doesn't there's not enough surface area to really create a noticeable sound within our fingers just not quite there however with a half dollar we can sort of achieve that and we'll try here Ah, yes, the sound of silver. There we can hear that distinctive ring. And what you're hearing in there, and you can sort of tell the difference between the dime and the quarter, is the sound of the copper, because each of these has 10% copper in them. That's known as coin silver. So now moving along, we can really hear that sound when we have a, an actual silver dollar here. This is a Morgan silver dollar. Let's listen to its distinctive ring. Very nice ring to it. The Morgan Silver Dollar. And in fact, many people use this ping test as a way to decipher uh, the genuine nature of the silver pieces to make sure it's real silver. You can usually tell by that ping test. Very, very nice indeed. Well, so those are the 90% silver coins. Well, what does actual pure silver sound like? Well... Let's find out with an American Silver Eagle. Let's see how that sounds. This is pure three nines fine silver. This is a very large diameter coin, 40 millimeters in diameter this piece is. So it's gonna have a very nice rich ring to it. Very distinctive, very pronounced ring indeed. Very nice. Now, we will see what is next when we do four nines fine silver here. And uh, this is the Queen's Beast. Now, this is slightly smaller in diameter, but these are sort of the rage lately where uh, coins are being minted uh, in two ounce sizes and doubly as thick. That's known as a PA4 piece. So we will test that ring. Oops, we have a very soft and cuddly kitty who was wants to get in the way here. But you can hear that ring. It is very high-pitched, and, and but yet pronounced. 
Very, very nice indeed. So there that is. But still not as uh, as rich as the other pieces that we notice. Here's another example. This is the Fertitude round. Again, 39 millimeters in diameter, slightly larger in diameter, and less thick. This is 1.75 ounces. Let's see what the Fertitude round does. It's a slightly more distinctive ring here. And even this kitty is noticing that. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, kitty. Very distinctive ring indeed. All right. Very good. Okay, well, let's remove the soft teak and cuddly creature's fur and the rest of the body of the kitty away from here while we test yet another example. So we have nine, four nines fine silver, three nines fine silver, and various sizes. Let's see what three nines fine silver does in a five ounce size piece. Very nice. Okay. Very rich, distinctive ring there for that piece. Very nice. Rich tone. Now that's a silver bell that I can be proud of. Very nice. Five ounces of silver. Okay, next in line is we have a five ounce again, same size. Three nines fine silver. America the Beautiful coin, just the diameter size different. It weighs exactly the same as this, but completely different size. We can see when we put them together, the difference in the size of them and the thickness is different as well. This is much thinner. Now let's test that. Ah, yes, silver bell. Listen to that ring. Very nice indeed, wow. Now, so that, the last question to answer is, with all these silver pieces here that we've tested here, let's put them all out here so we can see them. We've tested the ring test on these and just uh, and made some beautiful music with them. Now, let us test the last, and that is a balance of silver and copper. This is sterling silver. Ah, oh, yes, indeed, sterling silver. Let's see. How it rings. This is a 20 Balboas coin from the Republic de Panama. This is 925 sterling silver. This is the ultimate in silver beldum. Ah, my favorite of the sounds. This has attracted the, the ire of the kitty. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Beautiful. The sound of silver. Silver bells. In the silver stacking here. And of course, we can play them here like an instrument. Let's move the furry creature out of the way again one more time. And we will play these like an instrument here. Ah, oh, fun, fun indeed. Now that is heavy metal right there. Silver bells, everyone. Merry Christmas. A multitude of Christmas too to you all. And I'd like to encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.